Happy Friday, everybody. This is a pick a card reading for today, Friday, December 16th. You pick a card. It's your main energy, but I do pull the cards together for all of us. Therefore, all of us. And December 16th, babies, I'll do your reading next. If you pick card number one, you have the Knight of Pentacles. All right. The Knight of Pentacles usually is a focus on finances and use um, things of value and can be dealing with earthy energies. Um, I do feel here, and to me, this card is always slow and steady wins the race, okay? Or this takes some time. Um, there can be some indecisiveness today, and you may have to make a decision that you've been putting off, and you may have to kind of be, I don't know, put in a corner, like you have to make a quick decision for some of you, all right? But I do see there's a new beginning here, or some kind of an offer may come through. For example, you've been applying for a job, and now they want an answer right away. There is that kind of energy, too. Um, so, yeah, and there is some decisions, but a little bit of indecision, so maybe take your time. Don't make a very impulsive decision, but you may have to make a decision. You know what I mean? But at least think about it. You know, um, the practicalities of it is what I'm picking up. Card number two is the major arcana of the chariot. That means it's a major, um, important day for you because it's a major arcana, but I do pick up, Ooh, this is a very strong energy. Um, this is definitely victory today. There is some kind of a victory. For some of you, if, if it's court or some important official decision, um, legal, dealing with legal, there's a victory. I feel some of you may be signing something off today, dealing with contracts, documents, but there is definitely a victory here. This could be a surprise too. Somehow, um, definitely a victory. For some of you, this is karmic justice. It's like um, something you've been wanting, something um, or... Um, there, if there's been some injustice, something is made fair now, um, definitely you are victorious. I mean, it's, I can't even say anything else about it. Definitely that. Okay. Card number three is a major arcana of the devil. So this is an important day for you. It's a major arcana, but you have the devil. Follow your intuition. Okay. Something may be thrown a wrench in your path today. Um, I do feel that energy too. For some of you, this is also dealing with a female for some reason I'm picking up. Um, follow your intuition, okay? There could be some manipulative people around or someone throws a wrench in or um, if, you're, if your gut's telling you something, then do what your gut is telling you, okay? So this is your inner feelings that you definitely have to kind of like your intuition, your gut feeling. There is a need for self-care today too, all right, so I do feel that it's, it's almost like you're dealing with some kind of insecurity. For a lot of you, a lot of um, progress or whatever that's been going on or your intuition or what you're working on is going to give, let's say something's going to come to fruition in the next six months. Something is like on divine timing too. Okay, so I'm picking up that energy. Okay, so we have uh, the Knight of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Devil. So interesting day today. Um, this is a day of new beginnings with healing and happiness. Okay. There's a mixture here. Some of us are leaving some resentments behind us. Okay. Now there can't be some others around us that are jealous of our, uh, of our good today. Okay. So I do feel that energy. Um, great business deals are coming through. A lot of that energy is showing up. Um, definitely with the chariot, I'm going back to card number two is a very powerful energy today. It's a lot of compassion. Com um, these are finding our comfort zones without going back into bad um, habits. There's a nurturing and healing energy. More emotional stability too. Very, very intuitive day. So we definitely have to pay attention to our intuition and care for ourselves and be very caring with our choices. Um, this is like opening up a portal to, uh, I want to say, a healing and our own personal happiness. Even financially, physically, whatever it is, we're on a new journey here. Some of our worries or our fears that we have, they're unfounded. They, um, they, someone will either help us out or there's uh, options out there. So there's a new journey here. Balance your energies today definitely is important. We could be reconnecting with someone from the past, okay? For some of us, a soulmate is coming in. There's a balance between yin and yang today as well. It's like balancing out female and masculine energies. All right. So that is the reading for today, Friday, December 16th. Have a fabulous Friday.
Happy birthday if you're born today, December 16th. This is a quick and general reading. This is your soul or your theme and your wish card. I do offer this kind of reading and many different other birthday readings on my website. You can find that there. All right. So you have a major arcana of temperance for the year. Okay. So one thing I'm picking up here is the burdens that you had to carry. You may have to carry them a little bit longer. The hard work you put in, the effort you put in during the year, it is going to pay off for you big time. All right, so I do feel that energy. This is a year of putting in hard work, making adjustments along the way, and you're being divinely guided. There is a significant female that I'm picking up here too that may um, like help you out financially or um, may offer a um, job, new job offer or a promotion I'm, uh, or it could be very helpful with the finances is what I'm picking up. For some of you, um, you may be kind of buying a pet, like a cat is what I'm picking up for some of you, or a new, a new pet, um, is coming into your life this year. Um, I do feel also you have a lot of opportunities. Something will be shed to light, better health this year too, for some of you. I do feel also that there, you could be dealing with a, Ooh, this is finding love at work or someone will be going into a partnership. Just say you're in a law firm. You may be made partner this year. I'm seeing that energy too. Um, there is a lot of opportunities out there. You have to get out of your comfort zone though, too. You could be dealing with a Virgo or the time of Virgo. Also Aquarius and Cancer come to mind. Okay. I do feel you have a strong beginning towards the end of the year. Your um, solar year next year around this time or now is a strong new beginning and something completes by then. This is a year to move forward and not procrastinate, okay? But make adjustments along the way. Very interesting. All right, your wish for your solar year is the two of wands. All right, I feel for some of you this wish will come of, uh, come very, very quickly. Okay, will come very quickly. Um, there's creative ways for this wish to come to fruition, um, there's also a man and a female uh, connected to this that may be helpful, okay? All right, so the important numbers for your solar year are uh, 10, 2, 61, 30, 1, 42, and 45. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a blessed solar year ahead and beyond. Everyone else, a wonderful Friday, and bye for now.